from Sarangani Province, Philippines, six-time world champion, the challenger, Manny Heckman Pacquiao. And almost a three-to-one underdog. That is fuel for this firepower show. And Miguel is serious. Manny reached out to give him the Touch of the gloves in the opening round, and Cotto refused it. Uh, it's been dead serious, start to finish, it seems. Oh. And the jab in the face rocks Pacquiao back. Pacquiao cannot lunge in. He's got to fight fast. But, he, you know, he's got to be aggressive, but he's got to be careful. They know how dangerous Cotto is, and they think especially early. You know, nations fly right off the bat. Winding down round one, and a very good one for the champion in white, Miguel Cotto. Oh, and this is it, gonna be a good fight. Cotto gives up his, any kind of advantage there. Nice right straight left to his knees. Pacquiao. Much more deliberate fight from Pacquiao. Nice left hand. Cotto absorbs the combination. Beautiful combinations by Pacquiao, moving, giving him angles, finding a range, but Cotto keeping him in control. Absolutely. Beautiful combination by Pacquiao. Yeah, but there comes Cotto back, and Pacquiao has picked his shots. He's a precise puncher. He had to realize that he could hang in there, and now he's able to set a little more into his plan. Let's see if he'll hang in there. This is a red-hot <laughs> round, guys. Cotto's had his moments. He's going southpaw. Covers up. Just that switch. He doesn't do it a lot. He's a natural left-hander. Body head. But the body really landed. For Cotto. Back comes Pacquiao. Stinging combination. Do you love it? Love it. Big combination. Big hook by Cotto. And Cotto's the guy moving forward. Big combination from Pacquiao, staying on the outside. The reason he does well against quick guys with quick hands, and he seems to nullify the speed with that crisp jab of his. Yeah, if he could time him, and he's done a good job, but here comes lightning combination from Pacquiao, and Pacquiao moving forward for the first time in the third round. Beautiful counter shot by Pacquiao. Yeah, here comes oh, Angles, and that's a goal, a bad, bad break for the champion. Three shots for the champion. Cotto with a hook. Pacquiao comes up with air. Cotto bites down with more power shots. Guy who has been shaken in fights. He has been knocked down like by Ricardo Torres. He knows. All right, let's take a look at the knockdown now. Manny coming forward. Oh, that's a right solid hand, knockdown. Yeah. That is a definite knockdown. A right to the head sent Cotto down. There's nothing flukish about that one. He brought the, he brought the punches up from the body. Beautifully done by Pacquiao. Because Cotto is coming with measured aggression. Oh, left hand lands to the bot to the face. Pacquiao did not slide off those ropes and he had to pay the price. Another left hand, but Pacquiao answers with a counter left and then a right to the body by Pacquiao. Nice body shot by Pacquiao. That's what he should be doing. Turning, turning, and reloading. Uh, Boatload for Manny Pacquiao to handle. Pacquiao turning, turning back. Perfect. And a nice textbook. body shot by Pacquiao as well. Whoa, that's textbook. But he does. You want to get into a slugfest with him. Cotto wants to make it a war, it looks like. Left hook lands from Cotto. And now they're slugging it. And much has been made, Nick, of Cotto's body attack, but Pacquiao himself has a great body attack. And it's his punches come so fast, it's very hard to see. Shots. Cotto's left-handed now, trying to tee off with that left hand. Now he's back orthodox. And he can switch because he's a natural south. Oh, oh, nice, nice movement from Cotto to avoid oh. those shots. And he's down again. Combination puts him down. He's hurt this time. He's very wobbly. I'm watching his legs. He's trying to get his legs back. He is very wobbly. He's been down twice. He'll get saved by the bell, it seems. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa, a 10-8 round again. All right, let's take a look at it. 
Pacquiao, just a brilliant left hook. Look at it, it's a one-punch knockdown. And you could see he was actually flagging in the wind, it looked like, before he went down. Pacquiao with the flurries and a beautiful left hook of a sort of an uppercut. There it is, series of uppercuts. Cotto coming forward, using his momentum, and Pacquiao oh. with his power punch, catching him with that beautiful left hook. You know, Manny Pacquiao is a freak. How does a kid who was a flyweight can I, continue I to carry this power? Well, not only that, forever. not only that, not only bring his power, Rich. He still has that same speed. <laughs> Here comes Cotto forward, but Pacquiao is on the move now. He knows he can slug with him. He's gotten obviously the champion's attention and immense respect. He's put him on the floor twice, and we're only in the fifth. Because Pacquiao's too fast for him otherwise. Nice left jab from. Cotto, but back comes Pacquiao combinations. In darting out, that's when he's the most effective. Yeah, three shots here as Cotto can't dial in in round six. I, this is such high quality stuff. This is bo boxing at its highest level. We, you're exactly right. And to see two champions world class trade like this and really put on a show, it's the best for the sport. That's and why this product is on the Pacquiao has the uh, champion on the ropes momentarily. Yeah, I thought he dinged him there a little bit. And you know, it's funny, it's just odd that Cotto's, Cotto's been southpaw more times in this fight than most already. But he is fighting a southpaw and hasn't been effectively rich at, at, at making adjustments and doing what he has to do to win. Oh, oh he got hit flush. Flush on the left trim. hand. And Pacquiao's holding on to him. And possibly. Oh, and big shot by Cotto. Big return fire from Cotto, but a big round from Manny Pacquiao. And a smile from Manny Pacquiao as he goes to the corner. Round seven should be interesting. Well, it might work. <laughs> and I've got the seventh round. <laughs> Here comes Pacquiao on big. Even in the seventh. And you can hear oh. those shots. Back came Cotto with a left hook. Pacquiao he's southpaw again. Me. Now Nick, he's orthodox. Nick, oh. he's impressing me with the shots he's been able to take. Because Cotto's landed some pretty solid shots, and Pacquiao's taken well, which was a big concern. Yes. First round, we said it was different. It appeared that that welterweight power was, was forging to the forefront for uh, Cotto. He looked like a big, powerful guy that was getting Manny's attention and respect. It, it just seemed like he was trying to figure out the way to attack, and he figured it out. He did. You're all exactly angles. Right, look, all fresh angles, new punching opportunities for Manny Pacquiao. And Cotto is southpaw again, and he gets hit on the way in. He's leaning in the punches now, and now he's getting, walking back and getting driven back. Yeah, Manny looks like he's warming up, though, again. Absolutely. All right, we take a look. There's the speed of Pacquiao. See how that tells? He was able to get off three punches very quickly before Cotto could even react. There, another double combination. Tremendous speed by Pacquiao telling it many points in this fight. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Cotto got there stunned. He, he got there he comes. I saw him back off, and I saw a little look on his face. Yes. His nose is weird. Pacquiao's work rate has been so measured. Oh, and that, now the champion absorbing punches. He can turn things around, oh. and now he's wobbled badly and holding on. As Pacquiao launched a furious assault. A minute left, gentlemen. That's a long minute for Miguel Cotto. Stay on his feet. And to get out of this fight. And Manny is in the house as the champ lifts up from every seat in the house, it would seem. The Puerto Rican crowd has gone silent. Stinging oh, combinations and of Teddy Davis. And it's a round knockout for Manny Pacquiao. When will it ever end for Pacquiao? There is no limit, it seems, to what this man can do. I said it. As he's now wel uh, welterweight champion of the world. Nick, I said it after the Ricky Hatton fight. I'll say it again, and I feel even stronger about it. We are looking at one of the all-time greats. 
This guy stands with the greats in the great pantheon of boxing in any decade, in any era. Manny Pacquiao stands tall. He is one of the all-time greats. Seven division champion from flyweight to now welterweight. Hottest fighter on the planet. There is no doubt.